Hi there. All right. My name is Megan and I am a beauty guide with Lime Life. And I wanted to create this video to show you how amazing our foundation is. Okay. This is the perfect complexion palette. So this is the foundation palette and two concealers, completely customizable. They pop in and out of the palette. So whenever you run out of one, you can just pop it out and order that one. So there's never any waste. So the, the thing about our foundation is it is waxed based. So that means that it sits on top of the skin, gives a nice skin-like finish, not heavy, not cakey. It does not oxidize. So meaning it does not change colors like an hour after you wear it and you walk outside, you're not, it's not gonna change colors. It's gonna be this color all day long. Um, it is also 50% pigmented, which is, um, amazing, but a little bit goes a long way. Your traditional foundations range anywhere from 18 to 23%. So this guy is 50. So you want to make sure you're using less. Less is definitely more. So I'll go ahead and show you how to apply it. You want to have your skin prepped. I use skin therapy and Sotox. And then I also put a little bit of due date on my face. So my skin is nice and prepped. If you wear skin um, sunscreen, which you totally should, you should go ahead and apply that and let it all kind of soak in. And then you're going to want to set it with a, I mean, put a primer spray on it, which is going to help kind of um, blur any fine lines, fill any pores, and give that foundation something to kind of grab onto. So I highly recommend the First Base Primer. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and show you how we use it as a BB or a CC cream. So you wanna take that and if you wanna do it like this, I would suggest not doing um, your moisturizer and waiting till, till your foundation to do it. So you're gonna wanna scrape a little bit out. I use the back of this brush and you wanna put it on the back of your hand Okay, and then you want to take a little bit of your moisturizer or oil, whatever it is you want to do, and do what you would normally use on your face. And like magic, it is going to liquefy that foundation and create a beautiful BB or CC cream. Okay, so you blend it all in and now you can go in get my hair out of my face and work that into your skin and it is going to give you the lightest coverage so this is just gonna even out your complexion a bit super quick run out the door, busy mom, but you still want to have a, um, a little bit something on. This is great. And you're still getting your skincare benefits and it's just kind of like one step. So this, you would be good to go. If you wanted to set it with powder, you could totally do that. Um, but now you've just evened out your complexion. It feels amazing. Looks like skin, but you've got that little bit of coverage. Okay, so that is the first way to use our foundation. The second way is you can go in with a blender full. This is going to give you the fullest coverage. You wanna wet your, your sponge, mine is dirty. You wanna wet it and wring it out so you do not, so it's just damp, okay? You're gonna to wanna to go in and push it in there and twist it till you get product on it. And then you're going to want to push it into your skin. You can completely build this coverage up. Don't forget about your neck. To whatever coverage you want. So that is one way. The way that I do it, just because I like a medium coverage, let me get this hair out of my way. The way I like to do it is a brush, okay? So I go in, you kind of warm it up, 
You can do it like this, or you can take it with your finger and kind of stripe it around your face like this, if that is the way you like to do it. But I just kind of swirl it in here and then I buff it. Okay, so I literally kind of press it in to my skin. A little bit goes a long way. And I just press it till I get the coverage that I want. I don't take it under my eyes just because I do use concealer. But if you do not use concealer, you are just going to want to take it everywhere. And you can completely build this up to whatever coverage you want. Work in little areas that you kind of want to cover. I have some broken capillaries right there and completely build it up however you like. So it is completely customizable for people that want a full coverage, medium coverage, or a light coverage just in the way you apply it. Okay. Don't forget right in here, a lot of people forget that area. And don't forget to kind of take it down your neck. So that is how to use our foundation palette. So whether you've got the complexion palette or just a foundation palette like that, that is how easy it is to apply. You are gonna wanna set it with a powder. So I've got my setting powder right here. So what I will do is if I'm done there and not gonna do concealer, I will just press it into my skin like this in the areas that I tend to get oily. But I am gonna go ahead and show you how to use the concealer side. So I have concealer number three and concealer number zero, which is a brightening concealer. If you wanna do contour, cover redness, anything like that, there is a concealer out there for you. We just need to, um, to get it picked out for you. Okay, so what you wanna do is go in with just a little bit and you can use a brush. I tend to use my finger because it's just quick and handy. And you just wanna press it in there in that dark, to cover those dark circles. It is so important to correct any discoloration as opposed to just putting a light color under it because that is just going to highlight it and actually make it look gray. So I just put this Samony Color Concealer right under my eye. And then we're gonna go in with the top one and really brighten it up. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my brightening concealer. Just get a little bit on my finger, a little bit goes a long way. This concealer is waterproof. So that is amazing because it is really gonna stand up to the test of time and watery eyes, anything like that. Um, so when you put it under there, you're not gonna have to worry about it budging, but you do wanna use a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Okay, you see how that just brightened it? So I start down here and I just create that little V. And it just wakes me up. I also like to take it right in the center of my forehead. And I don't worry about blending it out too much because I am going to go in and do bronzer and all of that stuff. But I just kind of lay it down. All those areas that I want to highlight. You can take your brush, just kind of blend them in. But again, I'm not worried about it because when I get my bronzer, I'll go ahead and make sure everything is blended. But that is how easy it is to use this complexion palette. Remember, if you love a blender full, like a fuller coverage, you're gonna wanna go with the, um, a sponge. Lighter coverage, a brush, whether it be a brush like this or a kabuki brush, whatever it is, and you literally want to press it into your skin, don't swipe and swirl. Same thing with this. You want to press everything in and then you want to go in and set it. So whenever you set it, if you're gonna if you're gonna use any bronzers or anything like that, you want to set it. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you. 
and just press it into your skin. And that is going to hold it, make it stay put, create that barrier that the oil cannot break through. And if you wanna stay, take it one step forward, one step more, whenever you get done contouring, bronzing, putting your blush on, you wanna go in with your setting spray and that is gonna lock it in for 16 hours. So I hope this was helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, reach out to your beauty guide.